And uh, I'm the author of PyBuild. And in the first short uh, part of this talk, I will talk about uh, what PyBuild actually is and how it integrates with uh, DH sequ sequencer. And in the second part, I will uh, explain a bit how to cus customize it. So, uh, PyBuild is a wrapper around uh, various um, build systems. Uh, it makes it easier to uh, build uh, Python libraries for different uh, Python interpreters or different versions. It uh, removes auto-generated files like PyC files or uh, ECK directories or ECK files. You don't have to remove them anymore. You don't have to add Debian options. Uh, uh, Debian source options, uh, patterns to remove these files. Uh, it uh, configures uh, your source, uh, even though this utils doesn't do much, for example, in configure step, uh, by build, make sure that uh, um, the same options are used uh, in all steps because for example, this utility has this nice feature that if you pass some uh, parameters to build step, it uh, forgets about them in install step and tries to uh, build uh, uh, extensions again. In, and uh, PyBuild makes sure that uh, it doesn't happen. Um, it simplifies building uh, libraries for Python 2, 3, or PyPy. Uh, uh, a lot. It uh, um, makes it easier to to invoke, for for example, uh, not only for this utils build system, but also different build systems like CMake or uh, or any custom one. It uh, run te runs tests, which is something, for example, that uh, the implementation from uh, DevHelper doesn't, because uh, Python has so many standards for uh, running tests that uh, DevHelper just simply ignores that, and uh, PyBuild tries to detect the right uh, testing suit, like NOSA, PyTest, or if the interpreter is in the right version, then it tries to use um, uh, unit tests discover thing, it, which was introduced in Python 2.7 and Python 3.2, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it installs files to the right locations where uh, other Debian tools later expect files. So you don't have to pass uh, install layout, dep, or any other uh, things that uh, we used to have to uh, do. Um, quick reminder about uh, what uh, DH sequencer actually does. So we probably in most Python packages already uh, have uh, something like this in Debian rules files which uh, by default uses uh, Python disutils uh, build system. And the with statement is actually uh, something that chooses uh, the Debian helper, because we, we don't have Python central anymore, but we still have Python support. And this is what uh, uh, enables DHPython 2. And, uh, what DH sequencer actually does is uh, it uh, um, invokes these five commands, dev uh, helper commands, which try to do their best to, uh, to 
guess the right build system and uh, invoke uh, correct commands for given build system. For example, if it detects a make file, if it finds a make file, it will uh, invoke uh, make clean in dh auto clean. Uh, it will invoke configure uh, command uh, in the second one and, and so on. But the problem with that is it uh, works mostly with one Python version only, or uh, in case uh, CMake, uh, Auto, Tools and uh, other build system, the only one which uh, actually knows to uh, build for various Python versions and interpreters is, um, uh, is Disutils. So if there's a setup file and there's no make file because make file has actually uh, a, big, uh, a higher priority, uh, it will uh, it will um, invoke the right commands for Python 2. And the problem with that is it doesn't support Python 3, and that's why I wrote PyBuild and uh, um, the support for Python 2 in uh, Python this um, this build system is actually not as good as it's very good, but uh, it could be better. For example, the H auto test thing that I uh, mentioned earlier. And uh, what uh, this with Python 2 thing uh, does is it uh, uh, invokes dhpython2 uh, command. Uh, but the important thing is that it invokes it after all these commands. So uh, PyBuild is something that implements another build system for dh sequencer. And, uh, DHPython 2 and other tools like DHPy support and uh, DHPyPy, DHPython 3 are invoked after DH sequencer is already done. So that's the reason why PyBuild will never replace DHPython 2. It's, they simply do different things. Uh, PyBuild doesn't uh, uh, generate maintainers, maintainers, maintainer scripts and so on. So um, um, please don't confuse DHPython 2 with PyBuild because it's not, mm, not the same thing. They are doing completely different uh, things. And how to integrate uh, PyBuild with uh, DH sequencer? So the, you actually have to do two small things. First of them is to actually set the build system because uh, DH will, will uh, try to use the one, the default one, so you have to pass uh, dash dash build system pi build uh, option uh, in order to tell it uh, to use the, the pi build build system. Uh, if you support Python 3 then you can add this one, but it's not related to, to pi build. And the second thing is to create correct build dependencies. And the mandatory one is DHPython and uh, please add it even though Python 3 uh, package uh, currently pulls that one in uh, because at some point I want to remove uh, DHPython dependency from Python 3 package so please remember to, to add DHPython to, uh, to build dependencies and uh, it will also uh, enable uh, newer DHPython 2 uh, helper, so uh, do, you have to do it anyway, and please do. And uh, the other part is uh, actually how, not how PyBuild itself works, but how integration with DH sequencer works. Because uh, PyBuild is actually a standalone uh, command, and uh, uh, you can use it even uh, outside DH or CDBS. Uh, and uh, DH uh, integration script, which was written in, uh, in Perl, and I want to forget about it already because it was a nightmare. Uh, 
this script tries to parse Debian uh, uh, control file and uh, checks for build depends. If you add Python uh, there, it will try to build uh, libraries or scripts for, because it's not only for libraries, you can uh, package uh, um, Python applications with PyBuild as well. Uh, if you add Python, it will try to invoke all these commands for Python interpreter, so the default one. If you add Python debug, it will do the same with debug interpreter. If you, uh, if you add Python all, it will uh, check X Python version uh, field in Debian control and it will invoke all uh, these commands for all requested uh, Python version. The same for Python 3 and uh, PyPy. And uh, mm, there's one special option I want to mention here, which is which was suggested by Barry, uh, which is uh, name. And uh, this is a really nice uh, option that because maybe a bit of uh, reminder about how uh, the helper works. If you have only one binary package, then uh, Dev Helper will install files to, uh, to Debian slash uh, package name directory. So you don't have to create any install files and so on. But if you add another uh, binary package, so the second one, it will install by default to Debian TMP uh, directory. And it's not Python specific, it's just how uh, Dev Helper works. And uh, when you have two binary packages, you, you need to tell Dev Helper which uh, file belongs to which package. And that's what uh, install files are for. And uh, in case of Python, if you have only, for example, Python 2 and Python 3 package, it, uh, the install files are, are quite easy to write. Uh, you just have to enter their uh, user lib python2 dot star and it will install all, all python2 files to this direct, from this directory to, to python uh, full uh, package. The, the same for python3. Uh, you just have to uh, put their user lib python3 uh, star and uh, that's it. But uh, if you happen to build a package for the back interpreter, it starts to be more complicated. You need to uh, figure the right pattern for uh, for the back um, extensions and so on. It's already complicated with, uh, when you have the back interpreter and when you want Additionally, for example, move this extension to different binary package because, for example, the extension is uh, optional and uh, and uh, you want to provide arch any uh, binary package and another one for extensions. Then, then it's even more complicated. And uh, maintaining this, well, you have to write this install files once, but uh, it's a uh, Bit, a bit of a pain to, to, to write them. So another option is to uh, tell um, PyBuild what's the common name of your package. So for example, if I have Python Maco, Python Free Maco, Python Free Maco X, uh, then I, instead of foo here, I, I have to put Maco, and the uh, PyBuild will know where to install it. For Python 2, it will use this directory. For Python 3, it will use this one, and, and so on. And it uh, makes really easy to, to add Python 3 uh, binary packages for packages that already have only one. You don't have to care about install files at all. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if if you want to, if it's actually all most packages uh, for Python uh, usually look like. And uh, 
we can go to HackLab and add some Python free support <laughs> if you want. Uh, if not, then uh, I'm actually a big fan of customization. I customize everything. My Vim, uh, Vim RC uh, file is huge and so on. So uh, that's why I made it possible in PyBuild to customize almost everything. And uh, you can uh, customize uh, all these steps. Uh, you can provide different commands for uh, each step or um, only for one of them. Uh, you can uh, provide additional parameters to do commands already generated for for given build system. Uh, for example, if you don't want to do the work by build already did for for CMake or for uh, uh, these duties, uh, you can and you want to pass one additional parameter. For example, you want to change the directory where uh, um, uh, scripts are installed. For example, you are packaging an, uh, a game and you want to, instead of using user bin, you want to install to user games or you want to package some uh, something for administrators and you want to use as bin. Uh, then all you have to do is just pass install scripts user games, for example, and uh, you don't have to care about all other parameters. All other parameters. So that so the the thing that the hack I added to uh, to force these users to remember all the options, it will still work. You just have to pass additional parameters and don't care about anything other. And uh, you can also um, tell PyBuild to uh, invoke different uh, commands before each, uh, each iteration of, uh, of, um, of this build step or any other actually. So if uh, PyBuild invokes a command to, to build uh, for Python 2.4, 2.5, 2.6, and you can invoke uh, another command before each of these uh, commands and after each of uh, these commands. So that uh, I, in the examples later, I will show you how, how useful that uh, can be. We actually, I saw a lot of packages which were overriding uh, <laughs> in Debian rules overriding these steps and adding uh, four loops which were uh, adding these new commands or, or passing new commands and, and new parameters and uh, this is much much easier with uh, PyBuild. Uh, and almost any action can be uh, disabled. I will show you examples <coughs> later. You can actually even uh, Create your own own uh, build system on the fly. Just by defining few uh, options, uh, you can tell PyBuild to uh, to support completely different uh, build system, which is currently not supported uh, by default uh, by by um, PyBuild. And uh, how can you customize it? And there are two options. You can pass a command line option on, or you can uh, export uh, environment variables. All of them start with pybuild underscore. Here's how, how you do it. You can, the first one is uh, mm, one I like most. Uh, because it uh, has uh, some additional uh, features like uh, you can, uh, for example, add uh, underscore and uh, interpreter name or interpreter version uh, here and it will work only for this interpreter or this version. And with, if you choose to use uh, the command line, you will have to invoke PyBuild py twice. And uh, the second way of overriding it is uh, in Debian rules is to pass command line options uh, after the dash dash. So I 
Yeah. So it's pi build three or pi build two for Python two? Can you? It's all pi build. So, uh, Zico asked if it's pi build two or pi build three. No, it's uh, pi build underscore option underscore Python two, for example, or Python two dot four. There will be examples later, so um, so you can you can uh, pass these options to uh, DH Auto install, build, configure, or whatever. And uh, if you use this, it works like a, any standard Unix tool. So uh, the two dashes means I don't care about these options, and pass them to the next tool, and uh, it will pass it to PyBuild. Uh, another one is to uh, set the environment variable inside, in the line where you uh, override uh, the DH out of foo. This way, you, if you export it in the uh, top of Debian rules file, it will, do, it will work for, for all, uh, all steps. And if you do it like this, it will set this uh, variable only for DH auto install in this case. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, you can also uh, invoke PyBuild directly, but if you use the last uh, one, you lose the integration with uh, the helper, so it will not know uh, which uh, interpreters are uh, required, are selected, which versions do you want, and so on. So you have to pass it uh, using uh, command line parameters, and it's uh, it. This way, if you don't like DH, for example, or uh, or uh, or need to uh, invoke some some really weird uh, stuff, then that's probably um, a way to do it. Uh, actually, DH integration is uh, doing that, but it uh, mm, feeds PyBuild with uh, some parameters uh, parsed from Debian control file, for example. But you can do it by hand as well, if you want. And uh, examples. I, uh, I already, already mentioned the install scripts, and uh, that's how you uh, can pass it. The, no, I, just one uh, note about that. Uh, please remember that uh, you don't have to uh, quote it here in make file because I already saw uh, some people are adding quotes, and uh, you don't have to do that. You actually shouldn't do that in in Makefile. And uh, another example, if, if you want to, uh, for example, pass a test directory to, to NOSE, because uh, uh, PyBuild, by default, uh, in build step, creates uh, a new directory where the build uh, files are copied, are, are where they are stored, and uh, changes current directory to, to there. So that uh, uh, when you invoke tests, the source directory is not taken into account because uh, I, I, I actually uh, it happened to me more than once that uh, I uh, built something and uh, uh, invoked tests and uh, they failed. And after a while I realized that uh, I'm actually using the wrong directory because Python is by default using current files from current directory. It's in, in on the first place in syspath. And uh, uh, and it's a common mistake. I did that many times, and that's why in the test stage I uh, changed the current directory to the build directory. And uh, if your upstream maintainer doesn't uh, install tests uh, 
uh, with a library, then you have to uh, tell NOSA or PyTest where to look for these tests. And uh, this is how you can do it in PyBuild. Just use test arcs, so uh, this uh, parameters will be, this option will be added to the uh, uh, NOSA command. And uh, you can actually use uh, variables in uh, this uh, in arcs in these options. Uh, there are um, quite few of them, like version dir, uh, build dir, install dir, uh, interpreter version can you can use version dot major for example if you don't want the the whole thing. Uh, it's all described in the man page. Uh, you can uh, use it to customize your uh, your commands. Uh, you can also uh, that's what you were uh, asking about. You uh, the uh, if you want to uh, provide uh, an option override an option only for one interpreter, you can do something like this. So underscore and uh, interpreter version or the only the, the main interpreter or in, uh, in version interpreter. The the X desk dir is actually an option where uh, you can uh, define a different destination di directory for uh, extensions only. So if you want to uh, ship extensions in different binary package, uh, all you have to do is define this uh, variable and Python PyBuild will uh, do the right thing. You don't have to override the uh, DH auto install and move files one by hand or create uh, very complicated uh, install <coughs> files and so on. It, PyBuild does it for you. Uh, another ex example is 223. There are many ways to do that. I saw really big scripts in Debian rules that tried to uh, invoke 223 uh, in a way that it doesn't conflict with uh, Python 2 because once if upstream ships, for example, tests uh, in only in only in the main directory, and uh, you invoke while you invoke tests, the same directory is used, and they will fail for and two to three is needed because uh, it's possible that uh, uh, the same uh, script can work in Python two and Python three. But if two to three is needed and upstream uses uh, doesn't install it tests with uh, library and you can only use a directory from uh, from uh, from uh, directory from uh, from uh, the root directory of uh, of this package, then uh, you need to deal with two to three and uh, you have to do it before invoking tests for Python 3 and uh, reverse it uh, afterwards because uh, otherwise uh, the tests for Python 2 will, will fail. And uh, with this simple uh, free rules uh, PyBuild will do that for you. So it will, the first line will copy uh, tests from uh, root directory to build directory and for all interpreters and uh, the second line will override the the um, line the first line uh, only for python 3 uh, packages so python 3 3 3 4 and so on it will do exactly the same thing but it will also invoke 2 to 3 in uh, tests and afterwards in uh, pybuild after tests for all interpreters, it will remove this directory. When they are no longer needed, it will just remove it. So that's one of the examples uh, where before and after uh, options are useful. You can uh, that thing that uh, moves extensions to different uh, different uh, package. Uh, 
is actually customizable as well. So you can tell it uh, what, ex what uh, you can define extension by providing a, a pattern. And instead of, uh, by default, PyBuild tries to find SO files with uh, the ABI thing and uh, all other uh, weird things that end in uh, file name. But you can override it and tell it that uh, you think that extension is something with PNG files. So all, uh, all um, uh, images will be moved by PyBuild uh, to this new directory. Uh, another example, how you can disable things in PyBuild, because uh, you can, for example, uh, need Python or Python all in Debian, uh, Debian uh, control files, uh, build depends but you don't want to build it for uh, this uh, interpreter. For example, you, uh, you have a, a script that uses uh, Python 2, but you build only Python 3 packages. So you have to add uh, Python to build dependencies, but uh, you don't want PyBuild to, uh, to, uh, to, to build for this interpreter. And the first line disables Python 2 completely. Uh, the second one uh, disables tests step for Python 3.3. For example, if you uh, want to invoke tests for Python uh, 3, but uh, one version doesn't have support in some other dependency where, mm, because it was not revealed yet, or for some other uh, reason, uh, you don't want the tests for this version fail and you want to disable it, uh, and just for this version. You don't want to disable the whole thing for Python 3, but just for this version because this one uh, doesn't work. And uh, the second line does exactly that. And uh, you can actually disable uh, many things at once. So if you want to uh, disable in one line, if you want to disable configure step for Python 3, that's the first part here. Uh, if you want to disable Everything for Python uh, for version 2.4 doesn't matter which interpreter. Uh, it may be Python uh, 3, Python uh, 2 debug, and so on. And by the way, if you do that, Python 2, it will disable uh, Python 2, but not Python 2 deb uh, debug. So if you uh, invoke for uh, if you build for Python uh, to debug as well, then you have to remember that you have to disable the debug interpreter as well. And an example of a uh, new build uh, plugin, new build system. If you set a system to custom and define this uh, parameters, I will not get into details because we have a few minutes left, uh, then uh, you can ignore the build plugin plugins that are um, uh, defined in PyBuild and do something completely new. You can define your own uh, build plugin and that's actually what build plugins do. If you have something like this and want to share with others, send it to me and I will uh, replace it uh, with, a, uh, with a plugin, proper plugin, which will detect uh, um, if there are some files specific to given build plugin, it will use these commands instead of what it does for, uh, for other build systems. And uh, before we go into questions, I just wanted to say that I know don't need any help with this. I don't uh, want you to write any plugins. I will do it all myself. I will uh, just report uh, wishlist bugs and uh, I will do it for you. And I really hope that this uh, rever reverse psychology thing works. <laughs> So questions? <laughs> I was 
just sitting here and uh, messing around with it on one of my Python packages that I maintain already. Uh, the one thing that the upstream that I do is they use uh, EPI doc. And so I have to override for that. Would that be a situation where you could use the plugins and just override the testing routines that would be done on the install to generate the docs? Um, PyBuild doesn't deal with docs, actually. But uh, you can override DH um, auto build. Uh, tell it to uh, actually invoke the DH auto build so that PyBuild is, uh, is, uh, does the right thing. And then add one additional line, line which uh, invokes uh, the command that generates dots. I actually do that in many packages. points. Um, first is, uh, I, I just only recently looked at PyBuild and, and very briefly, but um, the, uh, the environment variable thing, it seems to be, it seems to me you're using a lot of environment variables. Um, so I mean, in a, in a different context, if I saw a shell script with that many environment variables, I would be inclined to say, hey, let's rewrite this in Python. And, Stop using environment variables because um, you know, obviously you've got. Uh, you actually, can you don't have to use them? The, almost or all of them can be passed as command line parameters. So I just oh, think yeah. it's easier. Yeah, in Debian rules. It's, it's just my yeah. general uh, mm -hmm. impressions here, but um, but yeah, I mean, um, for, with environment variables, I mean, if you um, if you misspell an environment variable, you. Most likely, what's going to happen is the program is simply ignores the variable because you you misspelled it. Um, so, uh, in you know other contexts where you have a you know you have a grammar, you can parse that uh, file and say here's here's an unexpected uh, token or you know, whatever is uh, it's not valid here. So it seems there there may be some some QA issues related to that to that design choice. Um, Second point uh, I want to bring up is, um, well, uh, I don't do a lot of Python module packaging. I'm a Python programmer. Um, I don't do a lot of packaging. Uh, but I've um, been doing it for a while. So I might go two or three years in between actually touching a, a Python package. And um, it's happened you know, several times to me that uh, I will, I will look at, you know, uh, you know, I need to update this uh, Python module or what, a package or, or whatever. And, uh, oh, there's a new way to package module, Python modules for Debian. Um, so I'll go and, and, and read about this and I'll be like, okay, so there's Hopefully new... we have only one and yeah. uh, it will well, well, rule the world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is where, where I'm heading towards. Um, but the yeah, other I'll, ones I'll, are I'll, either I'll... out of the archive or deprecated. Yeah, and, you know, you'll go and look into it and be like, oh, okay, so there's two ways to do it. All right, so which one is the preferred one? You do some more reading like, oh, okay, some people prefer one, some um, people prefer the other. I would su suggest to go to this page and the Barry prepared uh, a really nice uh, guide how to uh, use uh, this stuff and uh, it's very opinionated but uh, it describes what we think is the best solution so it doesn't describe all the possible solutions but it uh, describes something that we think is the right way if you follow this uh, website this uh, wiki page then uh, you are probably fine. And, and by the way, that, since this morning, that's what uh, SEDEP generates. I uploaded a new version which some, with some patches which are using PyBuild already. Yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I don't mind uh, opinionated. The problem is when there's multiple opinionated positions. In general, how do you suggest we solve the issue where different people have different opinions?
I, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, I, 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 you know, I don't necessarily want to take an opinion on everything, but, but you know, if, if there's, you know, something where I'm not an expert in, I would prefer to, uh, you know, follow best practices, right? We go back to Windows. Well, like I said best practices, not, not common practices. We have already not so much time, so uh, just a quick question, maybe. If not, then thank you.